Okay. You see, I've got this interesting little tool open mini partitioning wizard. And if you look right there, I just applied a bunch of changes. That is an extension 3D form format. And that's the other format. You have to click apply. You don't have to set yours up like this. You just gotta make sure to have about 5 gigs or so for it will work and extension 3 for the Android operating system then you come over to Lili USB creator you click on whichever USB drive you are going to install it on and you come here to step 2 click an ISO since I'm doing this on the EEPC I'm gonna do it with the newest one that I've found click open it's going to zoop it on in there. And you see it's pretty much ready from there. Live CD. Now when it comes down to these options, this is the only one I check. There's the middle one. Format, the key, blah, 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 blah. Then you click OK. 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 Zoom out for you. Sorry. I'm using a cell phone to do this on. It's not even very comfortable since my USB port here is done. I'm going to unplug it. I'm going to plug it into my laptop. That's not my USB port. That's my hard drive. Make sure you understand that because if you go to unplug your USB port before the extracting is done, it will not work. Now we're just waiting for a them to pop up on the windows here. I'm going to open this laptop. And another problem I had, and I'd love to get fixed, I'd love to be able to mount my phone to this laptop. That would just, you know, make me gloriously happy. I'm not too worried about seeing it anymore. It'll pop up a web page when it's done. From there, you'll see the next steps. Hopefully my phone doesn't turn off again because it's full. It's done that twice in a row. Do 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 do, and that's how we know we finished. Pull it out of there. Put it in your laptop. Or you can be all doing this all on a laptop. I don't, I don't, you can do it however you want. I just I like to use two computers to make it easier on myself. All right. Now you hit F12 for me on the Acer to get to my boot menu, but once again I have it all set up the way I want. Sending my laptop is my girlfriend's, but what I do doesn't even affect the way she does things. So then we go down to installation of Android on hard disk. Of course you go through, it's going to read all your drivers and what all's plugged in and what all's where. It's going to take a second. Those are your options. Now, I know you can't really read it, but you're going to want to click the one that you just set up. Extension 3, it'll say Linux. Enter. Format Extension 3. Yes, I'm sure I want to format Extension 3. I've done this about 15 times. I know what I'm doing here. This part's easy getting read and write permissions to work all fully is fucking pain in the ass yes I want to install grub yes I want to set it up for windows yes I want to make it read and write even though it doesn't work fully this can give you a big old number right there of installing some of them have different numbers like the betas from Christopher they're all a little way bigger but they, they have more stuff in them and i found they're a little buggier. Even though I've had this one die on me on random times. But set. Now, if you don't want error codes, you click reboot. I've had so many error codes. You wait until you see the Acer. As you can see, it's still glowing. I, I, 
just now popped that up. Pull my USB drive out. It's going to open into Android operating system. Det detect detecting Android 86. I've heard about people launching Jelly Bean inside um, virtual boot programs, but I don't like that. I want it to be OS. You know, working fully, doing cool shit. If we could get it to the point it's like a computer where we can mount our phone to it and fix our phone from another Android, I think that'd just be the bee's knees, guys. But I, I think it's going to take some time because drivers, drivers are probably the hardest part for most of this. Of course, boot up time takes a second on the first one. It's got to build Delvic. However you say that. Guys, you're going to be glad I redid this video because this is a lot shorter. And click start. Put my phone down for a second so I can sign in. Yeah, that's not gonna work. So now I gotta set up time zone. You set up your time zone, of course. And that should be about right. I woke up early this morning. And as you can tell, the internet works beautifully. Oh, Xander just goes on to the next selection. Hopefully I got everything right. I do my setup from time to time. Being that I flip phones and whatnot frequently. And let's click next. I never restore anything from Google Market. And I know it saves time, but it's a pain in the bum. There we go. It's up and operational. I've got Wi-Fi. One of the first things I do is turn screen rotate off. I'm going to change my wallpaper real quick because I don't like these wallpapers. That's the one wallpaper stock I like. You can see the EEPC Android. That's not what computer I'm on. Like for real. If I zoom down and right, oh, you can't see it. There it is. Acer one. So the Acer on the front of this laptop. Just wanted to show you that. Some people don't know about this little gold feature. If you have ICS on your phone, your phone will do this. It'll do this cool little scrolly pretty much it that I've oh I'm jacking my sensitivity up while I'm in here it helps me out a little bit I go up two clicks to make it easier on myself the touchpad is pretty small um and this version, like all the different versions, have different things in them. And this one, you have a couple cool little things. Logcat. I don't have a clue how to use it, but it's there. I'm going to go update some apps. Show you exactly which issue I'm currently dealing with. Pretty much only other issue is I can't mount hard drives. It's a pain in the butt for me, but 
I get over it. Update my apps. But super user. The only one that gives me issues so far. But I mean, this is the one that allows you to do all the root fun stuff. I guess the video didn't get any shorter, but now I get to go through and re-download everything I had. But it works efficiently. I don't know what's going on there. But I'll show you the one issue I have. Let's go update binary. see what error it's giving me there that's the only problem I've had and once it updates it'll be a different error I know what happened gotta accept it again then all my continuations but yeah that's pretty much where I'm at I'm going to update super user real quick so I can show you what else it does. Because you just watched me update it. It's almost done. Done. We got the new super user, which is what you're used to. I actually got um, BusyBox to install, which didn't really do a lot, but it, it helped a little bit. Zoom in. Actually, it's not getting root access now. Now this is going to make me mad. But nothing is force closing. Everything works except for super user. And push it once. I'd like to shut down. Not going to because the video is over. But that's pretty much how I got here. If anyone can help, please help.